Upscaling. Guys, do you know what upscaling is? Upscaling is a technique that increases the resolution of a photo or video by inserting new pixels between the pixels. Previously used non-AI upscaling methods such as Nearest Neighbor, Bilinear, Bicubic, Lanxos, and Spline are better than not using them. But unless the settings of the top-notch algorithm are finely adjusted according to individual circumstances, the degree of improvement in quality is weak. Inserting new pixels does not significantly improve image quality, so there are many cases in which other operations such as denoise and sharpen filter are basically performed simultaneously. Recently, however, upscaling technology that utilizes AI's deep learning technique has appeared, and now deep learning super sampling technology such as DLSS is being applied to the latest games. DLSS harnesses the power of deep learning neural networks to increase frame rates while generating beautiful, crisp images of your favorite games. So how does DLSS work? It works on two main principles. The first is anti-aliasing. It's a technique that clearly handles the boundaries. Most games use TAA. As DLSS takes over this boundary processing, the frame slightly rises. The quality of this anti-aliasing is said to be on par with TAA. The second is upscaling. For example, if you turn on DLSS in UHD, the output will be QHD. You are viewing on a UHD screen, but the actual graphics card is calculating in QHD. This upscaling technique has a tremendous effect on frame rate improvement. In UHD you are watching, but only QHD is actually consumed. However, since this was forcibly increased, you would be worried that the screen would break, but DLSS calculates the broken image quality well and fills it up naturally. But through DLSS, because it fills in the empty space, there is a difference in detail. Therefore, there will be a difference in raindrops or scratches compared to the original. Of course, this is kind of a gimmick. But even if it's a gimmick, you won't notice much of a difference when you see it with the DLSS quality mode. Because of this, DLSS is likely to become a huge skill among players. However, Skyrim is a game released in 2011, and cutting-edge upscaling such as DLSS was not applied. By the way, would you believe it if there was a SKSE plugin that could apply upscaling like DLSS to Skyrim? Skyrim Upscaler is a SKSE plugin that can apply upscaling such as DLSS, FSR2, CES, and DLAA in Skyrim in real time. You can apply the upscaling you want by loading the settings menu in real time via a hotkey assigned to the INI in game. In addition, you can select a total of four levels of quality, through which you can improve performance or improve quality. Skyrim Upscaler allows you to set the sharpening effect and applied value in real time to make Skyrim sharper and clearer. Skyrim Upscaler can make more detailed settings through SSC Display Tweaks.ini, and the creator explains this in detail through comments. The creator says to disable TAA, DOF which blurs the upscaler's input, and if you use ENB with DLAA you should also disable Edge AA and DOF on ENB. Currently, Skyrim Upscaler does not work with ENB, but a workaround with NB compatibility is under development, and Boris will also do compatibility on his side. A VR version with fixes for forbidden DLSS and other VR-specific optimizations is said to be in development. Non-RTX cards cannot use DLSS, but can use FSR2 and CES. However, since no official DX11 implementations have been released for both FSR2 and CES, a DX11, DX12 hybrid solution had to be created, so FSR2 and CES require the card to support at least DX12. This is the end of the introductory video. Thank you very much for watching the video till the end. You can participate in the test in advance through Skyrim Upscaler's creator Pure Dark Petrian, and you can experience the ENB-compatible Skyrim Upscaler beta version in advance. And YouTuber Mern explained DLSS in more detail through a video, so watching his video would be more helpful. Subscribe and like notification settings are very helpful for channel growth. Then see you guys next time.